Finally, I've got exposed. Today I've got a message with a link to a post with something that can shed light on me, on my channel and my shop and who knows what else. Let's see what they've got. Hello, you're on Penstock, channel about pen spinning and a lot of secrets are gonna be revealed today. I'm going to reply to one of the posts in the pen spinning community, which doesn't accept me and hates whatever I say and do. I'm okay with that, but also I have right to reply to claims from people and point out my own point of view on different matters, right? And today I will read some thoughts with you and tell what I think about all this. Also, I want to thank Lecker and Rommel, pen spinners from spinwell.com, who agreed to help me with today's video by providing their freestyles. Enjoy watching and listen carefully. Probably, I hope so at least. Today I will reply to the whole community represented by Lito. He was the one who posted this compilation of rumors. Thank you for that, I guess. At least now I will know exactly what is wrong with me, because before they were only whines and uh, foggy hints, nothing certain. Ok, let's begin. Uh, beginners shouldn't create their own modes. At first he claims a point, supposedly mine, though this one, for example, I have never th said or thought. All I say is that beginners should not use their first self mods as their pen spinning tool if they want to have a decent progress. Usually they are made poorly, without any idea of how pen mod should look, feel and spin. A self mod is ok for the first one to three weeks of mastering fundamental tricks. To move forward easier and with much more fun, you need better to at least try to spin a properly made mod. I never told that anybody should not make their mods. But without an example in front of you, which you have tried, you spinned or spun, either make an unspinnable crap, either you would spend a lot of efforts, time, money on doing something. And this doing is not necessarily will get you fun. Not all the people like to mod. Mostly, most of them like to spin. This is false. Modding is easier and anyone can do that. <laughs> yeah, a lot of ugly and spinnable creations of beginners prove that right. Actually, I don't really want to argue this, he thinks this way, I think another. Learning to mod early can help a lot. How exactly? And introduces beginners to pen spinning culture. How exactly? The best what a beginner can make is a big tree mod. How does it introduce him to pen spinning culture? And it is the best what a beginner can make by himself, if he is good at making something. In most cases, in 90% of cases, it is going to be an ugly, unspinnable piece of Also, it's clearly just to convince people to buy his overpriced premades. Whoa, 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 easy, easy there. Overpriced premades? Most of the mods in my store cost significantly lower than in other shops. Don't you even try to claim that they have different pen mods. Almost all of them use the same spare parts. Almost all of them are copies. And I have a separate video about that. I try to make pen spinning affordable. Lower costs as I can and try to keep prices at their bottom. So that one is a big lie here. Overprice your rest. Three sentences so far and two of them are complete lie. Beginners should learn on light mods. What the? I have never told, told anything like that. I don't recommend beginners to choose too heavy and too light pen mods. The best way to start pen spinning will be with something between 15 and 18 grams. It is hard to begin with lighter and heavier pen mods than that. This opinion is a result of observations of numerous different beginners who practice with different mods. As for me, at the beginning I thought that you need heavy pen mod to start. That's why I chose Dr. CT for myself. the other thread on the front page for more in-depth analysis. But this is an old myth that should stop being perpetuated. By the way, old conspirators thought completely opposite. So this analysis, in-depth analysis, 
can be a final point, just another opinion. And in the future, the pen spinners could decide that it is completely false as well and consider it as a myth which shouldn't stop being perpetuated. Also, there are still a lot of experienced pen spinners who recommend beginners to uh, use lighter mods. I'm not among them, though. Whom are you arguing with, my friend? There are pro mods. Of course, there aren't. Anyone can spin anything they want at any level. This idea ties into the previous bullet point. This idea ties to existence of G3 based mods, for example, most of which are hard to spin for beginners and most of intermediate pen spinners. Also, there are a lot of unbalanced, too light pen mods, which would increase time for your learning of simple linkages dramatically. Sure, you can spin whatever you want, but some mods are going to slow down your progress, some speed it up. Video topics such as jab wipers, which is simply not a thing. It was called a jab-like wiper combo. I took it from jab spinner, and as there is no strict definition of jab style, it doesn't have clear frames, one can call combos which he thinks look like jab-like. <laughs> Packing outdated sentiments like a mix is good for beginners, even though no one has been arguing this since V2. It's been argued even these days worldwide. Many beginners heard about RSVP MX and I don't know why, but many of them think that it is a legendary, awesome pen mod, which would make you a god of pen spinning. And some of all this convince them it is true. This one is especially bad, because he specifically attacks spinners that, are, that know more than him. <laughs> Discredit. <laughs> Actually, that video was pretty much a translation of one of my videos for Russian community into English. There were, and maybe still are, some old timers who considered RSVP MX the best choice for pen spinning beginners. In Russian pen spinning community, MXs have very good reputation and for beginners as well. So my intentions are not to discredit anybody, which I don't remember doing at all. By the way, this video was hated in Russian community by all this for completely another reasons. You hate me for saying obvious things, as you think. They hate me for saying wrong things, as they think. Ironic. And what's more ironic, each side is wrong. I don't think RSVP MX is bad. The only thing I am against is recommending it to beginners. That's it. Hey, claiming that uh, thumb flap charge is a bad trick and people shouldn't use it. Yeah, I don't like it. It's a trick that can be used beautifully and is used beautifully in many combos. So I don't know what he is on trying to tell people not to learn use it. It can be used beautifully, but not so often and by very skilled pen spinners. In most cases it looks like a crappy mediator trick between Neo Sonic and Fingerless Thumb Around made by people who can't link these tricks without it. That's what I think. Do I have a right to say what I think? No, you have no, because you're spreading misinformation. No, I don't. Chill. Information consists of facts. The only fact I am spreading is I think beginners should avoid charge thumb flap. It is true, I really think so. So it is correct information. The following are not misinformations. As though the previous was but simply reasons why he sucks. Well, if there was any misinformation in the previous, it was from you. Some of, some of points which you argued I have never said, never thought. Some of them are my points of view. It is not fact and information. Not that I insist on being the only right person out there, but I still have right to speak out. Yeah, as well as you. And yeah, I have some experience in teaching and popularizing pen spinning. Okay, let's hear reasons why I suck. Overpriced shop, that's just him drop shipping in parts. The prices on penstock.net are the best for most of the goods. I never do drop shipping. I have several suppliers. At least this reason must be totally deleted from the line, dude. It is complete bullshit. 
Not a single true word. Overpriced shop. What the hell? I keep prices as low as it is possible. And all the funds go directly to development of spinball.com. I saved as much as I could and made it. Now I'm saving as much as I can and to develop it. All the funds after paying taxes, uh, del delivery fees, I don't do drop shipping, renting warehouse for Panamos as well, for studio as well. Yeah, renting fees for warehouse and studio. I lowered them as much as I could. I lowered all expenses to minimum to make pen mods as affordable as it is possible. You should see the room where I film videos. Dude, it is literally in dump. Yeah, it is a big city dump. Dark place. And after that you call my pen mods overpriced. That's so unfair. I've never told that, but I have no profit from penstock.net. Only expenses. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't feed me. And accusing me in dropshipping. Okay. Shitty and ironic clickbait on all his videos. Name me at least one clickbait in my entire channel. Do you even know what it is? This point is complete mystery for me. I have never lied in a thumbnail or in a headline. They describe exactly what you're gonna see in a video. Shitty. That's what you think. I spend a lot of time and efforts on making thumbnail, so they could look nice. And above all that, relevant to content. Clickbait on all videos, is it a joke? I think you have no idea what you're talking about. Garbage streams and videos such as doing free Xbox busts for 10 hours <laughs> or spending 2 hours being salty at Reddit comments calling him out, calling him on his bullshit. YouTube channel. Penstock.net, Spinball.com, that's all is just my hobby. I don't make living out of all this, so sorry if my streams and videos don't match your standards. I mostly do what I like and what I can in my free time. As for being salty, I just replied to bullshit from Reddit, just like now. <laughs> Responding to criticism and corrections from more knowledgeable spinners with hostility and refusing to change. I changed a lot throughout my life. But never was it because you wanted me to. I don't respond to criticism with hostility or hostility. Damn, I'm not hostile even to you, to your lie in this post. As for corrections, those more knowledgeable spinners often contradict to themselves, and one frequently refutes another. To whom exactly should I listen to? Whose criticism I should accept as a only possible truth? Feel free to criticize me, correct me, point out your point of view and opinion, but also make sure to be open for different ideas as well, okay? You sound like you think there are only two opinions, yours? And the wrong one. Hate to disappoint you, but there are much, much more than that. Expand your horizon. And if you disagree with my point of view, don't become so hateful. Because in most cases those corrections, as you call them, most of them today are bullshits. So those corrections are just other points of view, which other experienced pen spinners also can criticize. They are not facts. Just the way people see this or another aspect. I don't hate you for disagreeing with me. I have never said that you suck just because you think in other way than me. Why do you? And why are you so sure that I'm not knowledgeable? I started pen spinning in 2014, started to teach people in 2016. I did it online, offline, spoke to a lot of different pen spinners, beginners, pros, average spinners. In most cases, my opinion is just a compilation of thoughts of different people. If you don't agree with me, it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm wrong. What if in some aspects I'm more knowledgeable than you? Ah, just kidding, I know you're not going to allow such a thought. It is way beyond your mini-world. Literally. Every single video is an ad for his shit site. Now that's what is offensive. You may say whatever you want about me and my channel, you don't like me, don't like my videos, fine. 
First of all, they are about pen spinning. I spent for introducing my site less than 10% of video duration. And I think I have a right to do so. Why the hell not? But calling pen stock shit site, it is too much. Do you know how much time I spent to make it look at least like it is? How much I sacrificed to hold this thing? So much time, efforts, love was invested in it. And now this guy just calls it a shit. You know what? I regret spending time replying to your useless post full of crap and nonsense. There wasn't even a single point in which I could look at and say, yeah, this guy is right, I shouldn't have done that. Many time I did it. Many time I changed things, changed my mind when subscribers pointed out some thoughts and reasons. And I agreed with them, sometimes I disagree with them. What did you want by making this post? You know, guys, thanks to all of you who have watched till this point. You are true. And if you want to help misinformation to stop spreading out, post this video on subreddit each time you see anyone brings out the points mentioned today. Thank you in advance.